Hello everyone, Rurikan here coming at you with another First Impressions video and today we're going to be taking a look at Lemmings Touch for the PlayStation Vita. This title was sent to me by PlayStation Portugal so that I could give it a look and tell you guys my personal opinions on it. This video is going to be post-commentary because uh, I'm not all that good at puzzle games, so to speak, so I didn't want it to have to go through the trouble of having to explain the gameplay whilst having to play the game at the same time. So there's going to be some gameplay going through in the background, which should also give you an idea of what this title is all about. But for those of you who are not familiar with the Lemming series, it all consists of you guiding a group of Lemmings through a two-dimensional map, at least this particular one is through a two-dimensional map. I'm not sure if there were any Lemming iterations in 3D because I've been pretty much away from the Lemmings franchise for God knows how long. But uh, essentially, you have to guide a group of Lemmings through a two-dimensional map from your entry point, which uh, in this game is represented by a multitude of uh, objects ranging through uh, bubblegum machines, uh, going through uh, Egyptian heads, uh, gargoyles, and all other kinds of things. And uh, you have to guide your lemmings through that two-dimensional um, map into an exit. And you have to get as many of those le lemmings as you possibly can into that exit. And in order to do so, you, ha you can assign different functions to your lemmings, functions that will enable you to uh, navigate the level because it is, in its essence, it is a puzzler. But it also comes with somewhat of a pressure, um, a pressure feature to it feature a pressure a pressure mechanic applied to it because your lemmings are constantly going to be moving forward which is why you have to assign your functions fast you have to tell the lemming like look you got to build a bridge here you got to dig through this wall and they're going to keep going until they hit um until they hit a wall or something at which point they will turn around so you have to keep all of those things uh in your mind as you plan your actions throughout these different levels now, the art style of the game is something that I'm not particularly enamored with, if I'm to be completely honest, because here's the thing. I like the way that the lemmings themselves look, but I don't like the way that the levels look, if that makes sense. Now, in terms of level designs, the levels that I've played so far are actually pretty decent, but the level uh, aesthetic itself, I don't like it, because you look at the lemmings, and you see this very simplistic art style applied to the design of the lemming model. Uh, and then you look at the levels themselves and these are like more complex design levels and these are not even 3D These are just like 2D image imaged levels and uh, the thing is the levels have so much complexity to them and um, I would even say so much detail that it almost makes it hard for you to figure out which objects you can manipulate within levels because that is one of the things that you have to do in some levels of this particular title. You have to manipulate objects like bridges, you have to manipulate boulders, you have to manipulate, you have to interact with some objects in the environment. And the level design sometimes makes it somewhat hard to figure out which uh, items you have to interact with and it doesn't really mesh, like the level art style does not mesh with the Lemmings, uh, Lemmings art style itself, in my personal opinion, which was a big turndown to me, really. Because here's the thing, I kind of like the mechanic of uh, Lemmings gameplay, but it made it harder for me to immerse in this title due to the dis discrepancy between the art style of the level and the art style of the Lemmings themselves. It makes the whole thing a little bit less believable. Um, not that you need all that much reality in a Lemmings a video game, but it's it's just like the clash of aesthetics. It just like pulls you out of the game. At least that's the way that I feel. I mean, you guys can see the gameplay in the background. You guys can figure out for yourselves if that would be a problem for you or not. Now, obviously, depending on the number of Lemmings that you are able to save before you finish each level, you're going to be awarded um, a different score. There's also uh, certain actions that you can take which will give you um, a game currency that you have. I don't think that you can buy this currency with real money. At least I hope you can't because it wouldn't make that much sense. But um, you get this currency by fulfilling certain objectives. And that currency can then be used uh, to customize the look of your lemmings. You can give them hats, you can give them different um, looking pickaxes and stuff like that, different haircuts, different color in the hair, different color in the shirts. Uh, but one thing is um, one thing is always constant. These are, these are basically um, aesthetic upgrades, so to speak. These aren't really going to have that much of an impact in gameplay. 
Um, then there's another thing which this particular Lemmings title has that I haven't really seen before in Lemmings titles, which is you got the evil Lemmings. Uh, these are different Lemmings which uh, their hair is colored red. And um, if these lemmings actually make it all the way to the exit, you lose that particular level. So there's evil lemmings, there's um, objects that you can interact with in the, the levels. Uh, there's a slider that actually enables you to select how fast you want to have your lemmings popping out in certain levels. And these are essentially like the new things that this particular title brings to the table in terms of a Lemmings franchise. Now, personally, in my overall opinion of this title is I didn't really like it all that much. Um, and one of the overarching ideas that always pops to mind when I start, you know, rationalizing why is it that I did not enjoy this particular Lemmings title is because it feels like a mobile game. And when I say it feels like a mobile game, I mean that in a negative connotation. Uh, because there's a lot of really good titles on the Vita, and let's just say that this particular title, Lemmings Touch, is not necessarily the type of experience that I'm looking for in my PlayStation Vita. This is something more akin to an iPhone or an Android device or something along those lines. But however, I mean, if you are a lover of uh, Lemmings, well, lover of Lemmings, that doesn't really sound all that good, does it? But if you're a big fan of the Lemmings franchise, sure, it's got all the mechanics of the Lemmings uh, in this title, and they're all pretty solid, it works fine. If you like the uh, aesthetic of the levels, then you really can't go wrong. But me personally, it didn't really scratch that particular itch for me. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. As per usual, leave me your comments, feedback, all the kinds of good stuff in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.